let's see what would be out here. Yeah, okay. Um, Juliet. Uh huh. In your watch, um, you, you, you're looking out into the darkness. And, um, uh, give me a perception roll. Okay. Nice. I'm really oh distracted. Okay, so Juliet, what are you doing during your watch that has you so distracted? What's what's got so much, uh, you know, what's on your mind? I'm um, so I'm I'm like sitting on the ground, and in the dirt. Since we're like closer to the plains, there's like you know plenty of dirt around, and mm -hmm. um, I'm writing down possible baby names, I'm, like thinking about baby names and writing nice. them down in the dirt. Nice. Do yeah. you have any good ones so far? Um, nothing that really rings well with either of our last names. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. So um, you're sitting there, and and like as as you sit, you're just thinking of baby names, and and it's kind of spacing out, and then you hear this. Could you, could you repeat that sound one more time? <laughs> do I, if I stand up and look around, do I see anything? Yeah, um, you see something, like the, the plane is a little bit rocky, like there's like some large boulders that are kind of sticking up out of the earth nearby. And um, like the sound is coming from behind one of them. Behind a rock? Yeah. I and pick up. Uh, how far sorry. away is it? Uh, you know, feet? like hundred feet. You know, like it's within stone's throw. Hmm. I pick up a stone and I throw it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Excellent. Um, yeah. Let me tell you about the size of this thing. <laughs> Lord. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so, like, you throw a stone and it lands kind of close to this big boulder that, um, that you hear this sound coming from. And up over the top of the boulder surges, uh, a massive scorpion. I mean, we're talking, like, Guys. this thing probably weighs <laughs> 600 pounds. It's, like, uh, it's, like, 10 feet long from, like, uh, head to, like, the arc of its tail. Its tail rises, like, 8 feet into the air. Its claws are, like, the size of, of Kurthak's torso, each of them. It, 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 it just, like, clambers up, like, sinuously over the top of this boulder, looking in your direction and going... <laughs> and then it surges down off of the boulder and runs in your direction. Oh, guys, God. guys, guys. I grab my maul the second yeah. that I see it start to okay. move toward me. Um, so the rest of you hear this. What do you do? Actually, um, each of you roll what? Like uh, uh, a wisdom save. All of us? Yeah. 19. Five. Okay. I am so dumb. <laughs> Shaldrick with the three. Uh, okay, so we're both waking up. It's okay. Dumb. <laughs> yeah, Kel Kel Kerthak and Shaldrick are both uh, a little flat-footed, whereas Juliet and Kellen are both uh, fully aware of what's going on. So um, why don't we take a quick break? We'll come back. We'll finish off this fight, and that might be well, all we, we have still time got, for today. Yeah, we've still got twenty-two minutes left, so yeah, we're okay with doing it now. We can just go till end. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, then we take a break. Let's get add another five minutes to it, and it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, no, then let's 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 keep going then. Uh, if we've got that much time left, okay. So, um, uh, everybody, roll initiative. Okay. Um, while I'm doing that, uh, um, can, <laughs> this may sound kind of weird, 
But uh, um, is there anything like, because it's a giant scorpion, right? Mm-hmm. It's a huge scorpion. Now, yes. um, is there any sort of, like, check that I could make nature, like, uh, I don't know, anything like that, that I could um, discern whether this is, like, um, like any any weaknesses or anything that could help us? Like, could could we like like you know like with a bear you're supposed to make yourself as big as possible and shout so they go away. Like, so you mean like something to scare it off or something like that? Something to scare it off or like if we curl up they won't. I know that's a bad idea, but you know what I mean. Like if we yeah, get yeah, as small yeah. as possible, it'll ignore us or something like that. Yeah, totally. So but first of all, it surges forwards and runs towards you. Um, it moves uh, almost the entire distance between you. It's like a hundred feet away, and now it's like twenty feet. It's like. Scurrying with its eight little legs, just like zipping across the terrain, eating up the the plains, and then you know, dashing into the forest after you. Um, Kellen, go ahead and make a nature roll. Okay. Uh, that is plus one. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, it's 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 a, it, it's an insect, so I don't know. Like maybe fire, it would be afraid of or something like that. I, you don't really know anything specific that's appropriate for, um, you know, okay. giant scorpions. But you can do your action and movement and everything that's normal. So go for it. Um, my favorite enemy is not large beast; it's just beast. Uh, this is a beast. Cool. Cool. So you oh, have oh, the oh. benefits of your favorite enemy. Yeah. Enemy. Uh, Advantage on survival checks or to track them. Okay, gain this feature. Uh, just, uh, just to, okay. It says survival checks to track them. Mm -hmm. Re from intelligence to recall information about them. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. It doesn't give me any attack bonuses or anything, does it? Um. But what what was that about intelligence checks to recover information about them? Yes. Uh. Yeah. You have advantage on wisdom survival checks and as well as on intelligence checks to recall information about them. Okay. And so then then re-roll your uh, nature check. Okay. Better. Yeah, Okay, um, yeah, so this thing, uh, it has hard chitinous armor that's covering its body, okay. uh, kind of equivalent to, like, scale mail. Okay. Um, it's, it's a very hardy fighter. It will fight, you know, ferociously for a long time. Uh, it can make three attacks, one with each claw and one with a sting every round. Right. Um, its sting has a, a ferocious poison, um... Probably the easiest way to scare it away is to make a large blaze and get yep. between the blaze or get the blaze between you and the scorpion. Fine, and that's that's uh, like as a free action, I will just yell, "Fire! We need fire! Fire now!" Awesome. Okay, and then you, because we have a campfire, right? Yep. You've okay. got the embers of the campfire burning low. Perfect. Um, well, because we already rolled initiative, right? But does that? I mean, I don't know, like. Whose turn what are you it? asking? It's it's wanna, Kellen's turn. I want to do something. I want to I want to grab uh, a log out of the fire. Okay. And um, like like wave it and, at the beast and then, like <laughs> throw it in its general direction and hopefully like um, it'll I don't know think twice something like that. But then I'm thinking of how like the best way that I could possibly like light a fire. In front of it somehow, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like... Everybody back sort of, the fire! Behind the fire! Back behind the fire! Sort of what you want to do, like, the fire is all burnt down to low to embers, so you could try to, like, put flammable materials on the fire to stoke it back into a large blaze. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I, I don't know that, like, picking up one of the logs and throwing it at it, I don't think you expect that to do too much. Right, right, right. I'm I just, just like the yeah. image of <laughs> Kellen, like, grabbing one and just... Tossing along with this giant, like, eight foot fucking scorpion. Yeah. And we're all right. just like, Kella, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Kella, come on. Come on, man. All right. Well, I just want everybody to, to back back behind this fire. I'm, I'm kind of trying to guide you guys. Get back behind this fire and yeah. um, grab it. <laughs> anything that burns. Anything that burns. Grab it. Throw it in the fire now. 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 Yeah. Do you have anything that burns that you would throw on the fire right now, Kellen? Um, no, nothing, nothing like tindery. Like, I have a tinder Your box. clothes. <laughs> no, Your I, clothes. They, they it, it, I don't know, man. My clothes are, like, I have leather shit on. Like, it's, it, that's not gonna burn. Still burns. Still burns, wouldn't it? 
Um, no, I think I think it'd be easier just to grab like handfuls of like the plains grass and like the yeah. And it's Absolutely. summertime, so it's going to be pretty dry. So yep, yep, yep. Throw shit on there, like grab again. We're on the out. Or excuse me, our campfire is on the inside of the tree line. Yes. So it's going to be twigs and shit that we can throw on the fire. Yep. Um. So are you going to try to do that with your yep. action? Yep. Okay. So Kellen, like you, you grab nearby and just like grab a ton of twigs, like as much sort of brush as you can grab at hand, and mm-hmm. you toss it onto the fire, and it starts smoking. Um, but it doesn't go up immediately, right? It's it's going to take more than six seconds to to go up. So Kurthak, um, you are caught flat-footed, but you spend this round waking up, grabbing your stuff, and getting ready to go. Juliet, you still have like you've got your armor on. You're ready to go. You're at. You're ready for fight. I'm um, ready. There is a huge scorpion 20 feet away from you. Kellen is like, ah, fire it, fire is the answer. What do you do? Um, I'm, I want to throw my hand axe at it. Okay, awesome. Make a ranged attack. It's just 20 feet away, so that's within range for your hand axe to be fully effective. Uh, okay, and that'll be... Fuck! Oh okay. my god, my rolls are so bad! <laughs> your hand axe goes, like, flying over it, and it, you hear it, like, thunk against the ground in the back. Now, you've still got your movement. What are you gonna do? Um, I guess, like, I throw it, and then it just kind of, like... <laughs> like, yeah. just falls on the ground. I'm like, all right, okay. And I see Kellen, like, trying to grab shit to put on the fire. And so I just join him. Okay, so you just shove a bunch of stuff on the fire as well. Yeah. All right, Shaldrick. Um, what do you do? Oh, you are also waking up and getting yeah, flat with it. So, um, okay. <clears throat> two things. Uh, one, is the stuff mm. we're sleeping in? Flammable? Are we sleeping on anything or in something? Can any of that be used? On the, I have a bedroll, so yeah, my you bed roll probably can be have bedrolls, and it's probably made out of wool. So yeah, like technically flammable, though wouldn't smell the best when you burn it. Um, okay. Also, the clothes that I was given earlier by Kellen. Yeah. What material is that? Is that leather. like cloth? Or was... Leather. It's leather. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, I'm not the best at flammability on this. If I were to wrap the end of a of a of a stick with leather, would that act kind of like a torch, or would that not light? You don't have torches do, on your character. Do you have any torches? I don't. Not from the looks of it, unless it's part of a kit of some kind. Probably you have an explorer's pack. Would he know that I, I have, have burglars? I have a burglar's pack and thieves' tools. Oh. Your burglar's pack definitely has torches in it. Okay. See. So are the embers of the fire enough for me to jam a torch into it? Uh, you have, in your burglar's pack, it has a backpack. You have a bag of a thousand ball bearings, ten feet of string, a bell, five candles, a crowbar, a hammer, ten pittens, a hooded lantern, two flasks of oil, five days rag- rations, a tinderbox, and a water skin. You have no torches. Oil, oil, oil! Oh, oh, no, I'm, bas- Christ. I'm basically MacGyver, is what you're telling me. <laughs> basically. Like, okay. So I'm going to take the oil, yep. and I'm going to just basically, like, in one motion, spin the top off and, like, go over, you know, pour it over the ashes to get that burning again for whatever yep. else. I don't have any torches, though, right? Correct. Okay. Um, I've got a tinderbox on me to start the fire, but there's already embers. So I guess I, all I can do in this case is make the fire as flammable as possible. And also, yep. going off what Kellen is doing... I'm going to um, take how, I have two flasks of oil. That's all you're able to do because you're surprised. But, you know, since, since Kellen is shouting, fire, 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 make fire, uh, you are okay. able to grab one of your flasks of oil and throw it on the fire. Can I, knowing you only have one option, can I change that around a little bit? Uh, okay. If you want. I thought I was going to have two. What I, what I would rather, what I was going to do with, if I had two oils was make sure to get oil on the fire and also throw one at the scorpion. You can, you don't have enough time to make an attack. Like you're not aware enough to okay. like make any okay. kind of attack. So in that case, the only I, thing I spin the oil off and put it on the fire to make sure it's blazing. Yep. So anything they do, yeah. They do. I mean, this this is lamp oil, right? So as soon as you toss it on the fire, it just immediately catches. Poof! It explodes into a raging flame. So the scorpion comes running like uh, fifteen feet forwards, and then it sort of stops. <laughs> And it's like snapping towards in the direction of the fire. Um, but you guys are all on the other side. And this thing, I mean, it's like a four foot high flame now. It's, it's really blazing. And there's a scorpion on the other side. So, Kellen, what do you do? Um, I, uh, um, 
So I see him throw the oil on, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so without... And the scorpion is on the other side of the fire. Yes. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to reach my hand out uh, to... Oh, let's see. I'm the only one. Yeah, reach my hand out to... Uh, um, Sheldrick. Mm-hmm. Oil! <laughs> I grab the other one from my pack and slam it into his hand. Cool. Throw it at the at the scorpion's gaping maw, just right in its mouth if I can. Okay. Um, give me a ranged attack roll. Okay. What kind of... Uh, Three. Let me see what kind of ranged weaponry you're proficient with so to, to know if you get your proficiency bonus to throwing a, a pot of oil. Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have proficiency with this. Okay. So right back. Five then. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you nail it right in the eyes. It shatters and oil coats the scorpion. Okay, now I, I'm going to ask if I have time to like grab the bow out, put, put an arrow in the fire. and You don't have anything that gives you a bonus attack, do you? Uh, no. Nope. I don't. Uh, no, nope. I don't. You, you don't, don't have time for that. Okay. All right, Kurthak, your turn. Uh, so I see Kellen throw this oil at this thing. Yep, and it shatters all over, and the, there's oil coating this scorpion's carapace now. These darts that I have, how big are these? Could I catch one on fire and throw it at? I mean, side? they're like they're like the length of your fist, basically. So Think. I could could I light one on like light the, the things on the end on fire and take a penalty? Man, I feel like almost if you wanted to throw something that was on fire at the scorpion, you'd be better served it? with a torch. Just grab the assembly oh, log. Like yeah, a, I mean, like, there's no yeah, reason okay. to try and MacGyver a, That's true. a dart into something flammable. And well, the reason would be that I do damage regardless. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I'll throw a torch at I have torches. Uh, okay. Do I get my full-on bonus? Um, Plus five? Let me, let me take a look at that. I don't think that you would as a monk. My no, dart, no, you, my you're proficient with darts and, yeah. and hand axes. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot like throwing a Fuck! hand Fuck! <laughs> okay, oh, okay. so uh, oh. you, you shove the torch in the fire, it catches on fire, and then you throw it, um, and it lands over, like, beside the scorpion, but not on it, and it doesn't catch it on fire. You've still got your bonus attack if you want to use it, or you could flurry of blows, right? And you can move between now and making your bonus attack. So if you wanted, you could go toe-to-toe with a scorpion. Actually, uh, I am going to give him my inspiration. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Again! You can you can definitely use inspiration on this attack roll. Here's the reroll. 16. Okay, that hits. Nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. You nail the scorpion in the face with a torch, and the oil coating it bursts into flame, and you hear it just, like, shrieking as it, uh, as it catches on fire. Roll 1d10. Three. Womp womp. Let's see this. All we need is for this fucking guy to run away. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, like, at this for point, real. I'm more worried yep. about. <laughs> okay, Juliet, your turn. Um, I'm not gonna do my extra rolls or or my extra attack. I don't want to go toe to toe. How much is sense. this? How much is this thing flailing around? Like you know, this much. <laughs> but like, is it? He's going clap clap clap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what he's doing. Um, I don't, I don't know. Like, do does it seem as though it's about to run away, or is it still like gonna try to fight us? Can mm, I tell? It's, it's it's hovering on the edge of decision. I'd say. Okay. Uh, shoot! I already threw my hand out. <laughs> I have a javelin. Okay. You could chuck a javelin at it. I'm going to chuck a javelin at it. Okay, make a ranged attack. Uh, Please. 13? Okay, no, unfortunately. uh, Your javelin... Your javelin glances off of the creature's carapace. Ka-chink. I'm just, I've thrown two things and I just like, oh, I obviously look so frustrated because normally when I like try to just hit something, it works. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. (laughs) All right, Sheldrake, what can you do to to seal the deal on this scorpion, man? Okay. So the scorpion is on fire. Yes. Uh, um, The, our fire, I assume is still raging. Yes. Okay. Now, how 
many torches does uh, Kurthak have, and can I get to them? How many torches do you have, Kurthak? I feel like I've used torches before, so I have ten on my character sheet. We'll say that I have six, and I just used one, so I'm at five left. All right, sure. Okay. Knowing the information we pulled earlier from Kellen on scorpions, if we were all holding torches, do we think that it would engage us? Uh, if we were I holding think... a torch between us and them, and it was already on fire. I don't know that. Well, give me a nature roll. It, it stands to reason for you, Sheldrick, that at least if you got, like, torches, one in each hand, lit them both, and then were waving them around, like, this thing that's on fire with a big fire in front of it, and you with two torches waving them around, you think it would freak out. Read my mind. Okay, so I'm going to yell at Karthak, you know, give me two torches, or run over and grab two. Yeah, you can <laughs> just <laughs> grab them. Once I hear okay. him say, give me two torches, I'm going to, st like, just scream at him, no, just heard it now, heard it, heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go no, and then I'm gonna grab the two torches, and I'm gonna yep. go. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the torches. I'm going to run at the scorpion. While I'm doing that, hold the the torches in front of me, and as I move through the fire, hold them in the fire just long enough to get both of them. And I'm gonna stand just outside of its range, hopefully, okay. and start waving these things around right in its face. If I know yep. where its eyes are, I'm trying to like focus in on that. Yeah, its eyes are on fire, but yes. <laughs> yeah okay so like uh, we just see Sheldrake like run forwards waving two torches in front of this scorpion this scorpion freaks the fuck out it's like it, it backs up it's hissing and spitting it's snapping its claws it turns around and runs away like top speed it's it's like you know uh, 80 feet away now it's just like a streak moving through the forest uh, moving away awesome well, Kellen, what do you want to do? Do you want to shoot an arrow after it? I might as well, right? Sure. I crit, maybe I do something awesome. I don't know. Who knows, right? Let's just... Um, God, I've been rolling so well. It's, it's time for a fumble. Let's do this. Yeah. 1d20 plus 5. Here it comes. God, oh! Nice. Yeah, you nail it. it you Your arrow punches straight through that chitin. You're going to need to mark down an arrow, of course, but roll, yeah. roll your damage. Okay. Come on, where are you? I know you're here. There you are. Boop. Oh. Four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're like, your arrow sinks in, and you hear another hiss as it's running away. Um, Kurthag, Juliet, Sheldrick, do y'all want to do anything special? This thing is running. Uh, I grab my bedroll so it doesn't burn up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You 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 like manage kind of... the fire right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just kind cool. of like jeer at it as it's running away. Like, yeah. You better fucking run, Excellent. dumb, dumb thing. Yep, and then I'm gonna grab my blanket and start dousing the fire. Cool. Yep. And yeah. You guys, you guys control and contain the fire. Um, the rest of the night passes uneventfully, and I think that's a good place for us to stop. Now, did you guys want to like pick up exactly this group again sometime in the near future and yeah. continue the adventure? Yes. I think yes. like post Pax East, we'll do an episode. With the group. Okay. With the crew. Then we'll we'll try to schedule that, and if we can get it scheduled, and the next episode is with you four, then we'll just pick up this exact adventure. If the oh. next episode gets scheduled and it's not you four, then we're going to say that like you four go back to town, and then the next time we'll pick it back up. Cool. cool. Awesome. So, um, each of you gets. Do I still have leprosy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, each of you gains four hundred experience. Holy shit! Wait, what is level four? Uh, it's m big numbers. How I mean, much I... do I need to hit level two? Level two is at 300 experience. You level up. <gasps> I did it! So does Kellen, yeah. Yep. You might actually hit level three, Co. I have so let's see. Experience you hit right. level three. Yep, you hit level three, Co. You guys want to roll for HP now, or you want to just do it next time? Wait, what is, next where time do I, I put my level? Uh, uh, where it says your class. So it'll, it'll be like Barbarian 1, so then you'd go to oh, Barbarian Oh, 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 got it. Okay. Um, but I think you can just enter the total experience points, and it might track that automatically for you. We yeah, got I'm noticing if I, if I hover over it, it says level 2, 300, level 3, 900. Cool. Yeah. yeah so yeah. what did we defeat? We defeated a Dryad, we defeated six uh, yeah. seeds, and does and it count? the it giant count? scorpion. Yep. Right, okay, cool, cool. Absolutely. So, cool. Ko, you get to choose like a subclass now. 
And uh, I actually play a thief, the thief subclass. You can, you can become a spell user. Like it's, it's true. It's an arcane trickster. Is, it, is that a nightblade? Yeah. Or no, I, the arcane trickster. It's is called arcane them. trickster, but you oh. could probably. Oh. Yeah. Oh move, my. move it in a nightblade direction. So we got four hundred, right? Yes, everybody got four hundred. Uh, level four is at twenty seven hundred. Okay, not there yet. Four hundred plus, plus what? Plus Whatever plus zero. Ah, damn it! <laughs> you hit level two though, right, Z? Yeah, no, I got to level two definitely. I'm just saying, like, you guys you know, want to roll for your HP? Just, this is the time where you like bring the offerings to the DM. Yeah. And yes. Ring as much out of them as you can. So, um, Kellen, would you roll for your new hit points? I would love to. It was a D8 plus your con, right? D10. Yeah. Oh, D wow, it's D10, D10 for, Ranger. for Ranger? Yep, D10 for a Ranger. Damn, Damn dude. Yep, uh, nice. Warriors, Barbarians, and Rangers get... Or, excuse me, Barbarians get 12, right? Yeah, yeah. Barbarians get 12. Warriors and Rangers get 10, and Paladins. Yeah. Oh, All right, roll it up, man. 1D10 plus my Constitution, which is uh, plus 1. Uh, there we go. Plus one. Big money. No whammy. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. Good. All right. It's fucking terrible. Plus three. <laughs> that does suck. But um, as long as I don't get hit, I'm fine. <laughs> Juliet, would you roll your X, your hit points? Uh, okay. D12. So this is important. Roll D12. Do plus it. Plus nothing, right? Just do twelve. Plus, plus, your, plus your constitution score. Oh, plus. Oh, cool. Plus two. Two. Yeah. Nice. Thirteen. Oh shit! <laughs> two total spot. I hate you. <laughs> and uh, Sheldrick. So, so what do I do with that? That's what do your, I do? You add you that to add your total that HP. For maximum hit points. What? I'm yeah. so buff. <laughs> <laughs> you are a beast. That's that's awesome. that's, that's good. So you're at twenty seven now. Terribly chilly. You have as much HP as I do now. Yep. Yay, we have the exact HP. Oh my gosh. It's like we're meant to be. <laughs> and now for our rogue, I think that's a D8. You just rolled one less than I have total. <laughs> do, I, do I plus anything to that? Plus your constitution modifier. Two. Okay, cool. So 1D8 plus two. Mm-hmm. All right, there you go. Plus it is, it is Cole. Hey, buddy, sit on down with the loser squad. Four all the four hit points last time, also. So now you're at 18 hit points, Co. Awesome. Are you a dwarf or not? <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? I know. I know. <laughs> oh, actually, does being a dwarf give you something when you? Mike, I thought it gave you like oh, Mike a constitution bonus. I think. I'm just I checking get plus this out. Strength real quick. I'm a mountain dwarf. Uh, are you a... No, you're not a hill dwarf. Okay. Uh, yeah, hill dwarves get one extra hit point every level. Uh, oh. Yep. So do I need to do anything special about picking a class or something? Got to read class? about it. Yeah. So uh, take a look at the player's that. handbook and take a look at the, uh, the advanced classes under the rogue at level three. You get to choose one of either the arcane trickster, the thief, or what's the other one? Uh, the assassin. The assassin, yeah. Yeah. So you'll get to make that choice uh, and tell us about it uh, at the next session. Ooh, I get to make a um, fighting style choice. Did you get three? Do you? No, fighting style's at second level. Oh, wow. Cool. And two first level spells. Woo! Yeah. Uh -oh. Slick. Yep. So we'll do that next time. Yeah. Or in, in between. We'll, uh, okay. After we're done. I'm, I always get excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> We'll figure out when we're playing next, but before we do that, let's uh, let's do some shout-outs here. Steven, you want to start us off? Sure. So thanks, thanks everybody, for watching. I will drop a Q&A up on the Reddit, uh, though I'll probably be a little slow to respond again. Um, but uh, thanks for hanging out and watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at SilentOsiris, which I think is somewhere around here. Um, and uh, I also stream very rarely on Twitch, so you can find me there as well. And that's all. It was a fun session today, guys. Thanks. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Co, do some shout outs. That's right. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Co Carnage. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Co Carnage. I actually stream every single day at 8 a.m. EST. I'm a variety streamer, streaming all sorts of stuff. Uh, right now, we're working on H1Z1, uh, Hand of Fate. Got, uh, we're doing some Nautica. We've got all sorts of stuff around the corner. And uh, yeah, there every day and uh, at 8 a.m. EST. And hope to see you there. Thanks for stopping by today. And if, as always, thank you to Steven Zeke. 
JP and Dodger. It's been a ton of fun today. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Zeke, do some shout outs, sir. Uh, my name is Ezekiel the uh, Third. Most people just call me Zeke, but if you want to check me out, I'm on twitch.tv slash Ezekiel underscore III. Same for Twitter, and I also have a YouTube now. <gasps> um, it's uh, youtube.com slash Ezekiel III. No underscore, no dash, just Ezekiel III. You can find it there. If you want to subscribe to me either where, anywhere, I usually broadcast from uh, 11 a.m. Pacific uh, on to um, for about seven, eight hours, usually every day except uh, Thursdays and Fridays. Sometimes I take them up, sometimes I don't. But I want to say thank you to uh, Eat Me JP, as always, for having us on his channel. Co Carnage, who uh, is a, an amazing brother to have. <laughs> the lovely and hilarious Miss Dodger Dex Bonus. Aww. It is. It was awesome to see you again, and it's awesome to get to play with you again. And uh, Juliet is starting to grow on me, which I, <laughs> I didn't think she would, but she is starting to grow on me a little bit. So thank you for having me. Awesome stuff. Last but not least, Dodger, do some shout outs. Hello, everybody. Um, all of my all of my stuff should be next to me on w- one of these sides. But uh, I primarily do YouTube. I do gamingy stuff, and I also stream sometimes. I've been streaming more and more and more. So twitch.tv slash dexterity bonus if you want to watch that. And yeah, this was super fun. I was so glad to bring Juliet back to the West Marches. I was really missing her. Um, she's like one of my favorite characters on roleplay to be. So. And just ridiculous bullshit always seems to happen to her. So <laughs> it's been fun. This was really, really fun. So I'm glad that we're going to come back with the same group because I felt like we all had good. We had good chemistry. Absolutely. It was really fun. Stephen, you were actually out of your seat. Thank you for DMing. Thank you, man. Big thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Big yeah, thanks to Stephen, Stephen, as always. Phenomenal job. Uh, we've got Roleplay Solemn tomorrow at 6 Eastern. That'll be the final show before I depart for a week. Going out to San Fran and then PAX. Uh, everyone's gonna... Steven, you going to PAX? No. Okay, Steven's not gonna be <laughs> PAX. Everyone but Steven will be at PAX, though. Me, Ko, and Zeke will be doing a panel on Sunday at 4.30 for Drop Frames. Make sure to stop by, because we want to fill out that Albatross Theater. Dodger, you're doing, like, your 30 panels per usual, right? Oh, I I have friend zone panel and I think that's it. Okay, what do you so, know? What day and day, day time? I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm gonna be one of those days. I'm gonna be wearing an animal outfit and and talking about nonsense. So. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? what? You're gonna be a furry. <laughs> Always. I will bring my furry. I dressed up as a yeah? furry at Pack South. Yeah, I, bring your I bring giant... your secret roomy, man. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, and then I'll do the rest of my shoutouts afterwards. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks everyone for watching. The first hour is already up, and then we'll be putting the 30 minute increments up uh, all week long. So that's over at youtube.com slash MJP. That's it, guys. See you later. Steven, the car Bye. passing is so loud by your house. It's not even that loud for me. It's, that, <laughs> it's the Yeti. I told you it's a terrible fucking mic. We'll see you guys later. Yeah. We're out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>